Hello everybody. You will have guessed what's going to come. Yes, my year end message. This time called the freedom message. But I will do it differently from last year. Please bear with me. As always at the beginning of December, I realize in a kind of shock that another year has passed. Where did it go? I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our partners and friends for supporting us over the last 12 months. We could not have had the impact we had without your interest in freedom and liberal solutions to complex political, economic and social challenges. Let me draw your attention to three important developments in 2012 as far as our region is concerned. First, one of our highlights of the year was certainly the opening of our Vietnam office. In September, the German Vice Chancellor and Minister for Economics, Dr. Philipp Rösler, inaugurated our new office in Hanoi. Also, the German Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs, Ms. Cornelia Pieper, was present and addressed the about 120 participants from various partner organizations and the German community. The Foundation's board was represented by our treasurer, Mr. Manfred Richter, a long-serving former member of the German Parliament and Lord Mayor of Bremerhaven. Second, our second highlight in 2012 was the 25th anniversary of our engagement in Korea. Together with the Center for Local Autonomy of the Hanyang University, a symposium on grassroots democracy and citizens' participation was organized at the occasion. The Foundation's board was represented by Dr. Irmgard Schwetzer, former Federal Minister of Regional Planning, Housing and Urban Development. Third, the third highlight is the intensification of our work in Myanmar. For the first time, we brought two delegations from Myanmar to Germany. The first was composed of members of parliament. The second consisted of administrators from the Ministry of Industry and they were looking at the promotion of small and medium enterprises. Currently, we are in the process of establishing a memorandum of understanding with the government, which will also include the opening of an office in Myanmar. Highlights from our work in the region include First, our outstanding work in the Philippines centered around our freedom campaign, this year focusing on the freedom from corruption. Second, a future search initiative called Dream Thailand to develop a new vision for the future of the kingdom involving more than 1,200 university students. Third, our Economic Freedom Asia Network Conference, which was held in Hong Kong this year, and which dealt with the issue of welfare populism and how it destroys prosperity and competitiveness of nations. We have continued our effort to measure freedom in all its complexities. Visit our Freedom Barometer Asia website and have a look at the newest report and analysis. I also invite you to visit our Facebook site and the various project websites, including the one for Southeast and East Asia, where you will find interesting information and updates on new developments. I wish you and your families all the best for the coming festive season, and I look forward to a close cooperation in the new year. Thank you for your friendship and support, and let us intensify our efforts for more individual freedom and the protection of rights and responsibilities in our societies. I am free, I am free, I am free, I am free.